Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So I'm going to be doing a memory plan with me in my Oristel Cloud Planner using my inserts from my shop. So I am going to be using these inserts. These guys are one of my best sellers in my shop, which is Anna Jolene Printables on Etsy. So if you guys are interested in purchasing these inserts, you guys can find them on there. So this was last week's spread and I did do a plan with me and I did use a lot of the overlays from Rose Colored Days as well as some washi and I think it turned out really good. So I think I'm going to be doing the same thing this week. Um, I'm going to be using this kit. It's a Valentine's Day kit. We are going to be planning the week of February 22 to the 28th. So this is the last week of February and I do tend to use Valentine's kits all month long but because we did have that snowstorm that happened um, I did want to use a kit that kind of went with that theme but we are ending the month off with one last Valentine's Day kit so this is from Paper Crown Planner it's a printable kit so I printed it out myself and I love it because I can print out as many pages as I need to. So I have used a little bit of this in my other A5 wide planner which I use for work. I love the deco in this one. So it has lots of reds, pinks, and blacks which I think is a nice contrast and it's a little bit different. So these are the full boxes that I'm going to be working with. I did also bring in these functionals. So these are from Aribea Shop. I don't know if she still does them, but I have some scallop boxes, two variations, and then also some quarter boxes. I brought in some washi too. These are all from the Pink Rim Co. These are all from different collections though. So um, some of them have gold foil and some of them are red foils. So I thought that those will look really nice in this kit. And then also I did bring my sticker books. I do have all my character stickers in here. So I thought that I would use these. If you're interested, these sticker books are from Aribea Shop and I have a code, it's Anangeline 10 So let's quickly get started. I am first gonna go and take my pages out of the planner. So I do use the Aura Style Planner and I'm thinking that I want to switch out the cover. I do have this cover, which is the rose quartz. It's a lovely cool tone pink and I am going to switch it out for one of my other ones. Um, I do have the lilac daydream so I think I might want to switch it up a little. So I am going to grab the full boxes out first as well as the bottom washi. So first off I am going to lay down the base of my kit using these items first. So if you don't know, my shop always has these pink scallop spine down the center. Sometimes it's on the top or the bottom, it just kind of depends. But um, I really like it because I think it matches with pretty much all the kits that I use. So I really like that little detail and I know that a lot of Oristel Cloud users really like that detail. And also the, the people who have like the Pele Studio um, scallop spine planners. Um, my inserts are really popular with the, with those people as well because of the scallop detailing that they have. So I have just put down my bottom washi there. I think it's kind of different because it has a marble background with these black and red scattered hearts. So it kind of looks like they're falling or trailing down, which I think is kind of cute. And then I'm going to put my date covers on. Now I actually do like my font that I use on my inserts, but I feel like I like to use the most out of these kits as well. So I am going to use them this week. Sometimes I leave them though. It just depends on the week, but I like the kind of color that this one has for this kit. So I am going to use them this week. So how are you guys doing? I have been trying to catch up on my memory plan with me's. I feel like I'm almost there now, um, but I do have a few more to post and do. I'm actually gonna grab this guy here. It's a little washi strip and I am gonna cover the this week here because I just want it to look a little bit more uniform on the top. 
Now I am gonna put down my full boxes. So she has a couple of full boxes here and then these ones. So I definitely love these ones here. They're super cute. So my camera cut out, so I wasn't able to film me putting down these full boxes, but basically I have just kind of scattered them in this order. I used to do this in my Erin Condren and have them kind of staggered this way. So I thought that I would do something a little bit similar, but I have gone in with this washi this is from the pink room co so i do have this one that has pink on it with red foiling which i think is really pretty and i added that to the top and the bottom and before i finish off with my full boxes i did want to put down these glitter headers so these came with the kit and they have black glitter on them and just to do something a little bit different this week i am gonna put them all across the top just to bring in some of that. Usually I will put these above or below my full boxes, but I just wanted to try something a little bit different this week. So we are going to go for a little bit more of a uniform look this week. So I am gonna put these across here, just like that. And then I'm going to grab my washi again and then put a little across here so that I can put my weekend banner across. Now, do you guys use the weekend banner in kits? I feel like not many people use them as much now. Um, I remember before like it was like really popular to do that, so I'm just curious if you guys like to do it or maybe you don't, let me know. So now that I have that, I'm gonna grab this other full box that I've been saving and I am gonna put that in my sidebar. So just like that. And then I think I will go with the love one just up here. To finish that off okay so now I'm gonna zoom in and we are gonna go to the sidebar and then day by day so now we are gonna start with the sidebar over here I am going to grab this header here that says work and I am going to list out my main tasks or the focus of this week so I had a lot going on this week and it's usually quite busy towards the end of the month and also the beginning of the month for me so I had a lot to do so I am going to write my main focus of this week and then typically what I do in this section is I also keep track of the books that I read so what I'm gonna do actually is I am going to grab this little cute box it's kind of looks like a post-it note almost so i am going to put that down here and i am going to write down the books that i read so i only read a couple of books so i will write that down over here and then just to fill up that space a little i am going to grab this little washi and add that here and then i am going to fill that in right away so the pen that I'm using is the Uniball Signal RT in the 0.38. It's the pen that I always use. So I am going to write down that I had a book sale on two of my books, Close to You and Glory. I wanted to work on my sticker organization because if you have watched my other videos, then you know that I am working on that. It's been quite a long process. It's taken me several days to finish, but it's almost done, which I'm happy to note. I have to also renew one of my books, and then I have to renew my business license. And then also I wanted to focus on my shop. I wanted to release my new pocket rings inserts. So I did some revamping. I cleaned up the look a little bit, and then I also created some new ones, so those will be releasing soon. And then these are the books that I read this week. It's 
a book by Chloe Neal, Shadowed Steel, which is an advanced reader copy. And then I also read a new Lee Hollis book, which I also have to review. So if you guys are interested in any recommendations, do let me know because I am a professional book reviewer and an author. So I feel like I have quite a few recommendations to share with people if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff. So do let me know. Um, I do just want to add another little bow here. I'm gonna grab this little black one here and I am gonna pop that just on top here just to add some more detail to that little section. Okay, so now we are moving on to Monday. So on Monday, I did have a sale on two of my books, so Close to You and Resurrection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab these little scallop boxes. They are really cute. They have like little doilies on them. So I am gonna grab this one and I am going to put that at the very top to mark that sale that runs this whole entire week. The other thing that I have to mark is my payday. So I am just going to use that little paper clip bow sticker and write that down. Payday is always great on a Monday. So on this day, I actually did quite a lot of editing. So yeah, I'm gonna mark those down with the full boxes here. Maybe I'll bring in some quarter boxes as well. So I edited my what's in my bag video. So I have that and then I also edited my cousin video, my plan with me. So I wanna mark that down. I also did have like a snow date, I guess you can say. So we did have a big snowstorm the week before and so we were still busy with the shoveling and just getting all of that snow off the driveway and so while I was shoveling I brought my dog out and he had quite a lot of fun so um, I just want to remember that fun day so I'm gonna mark that down with one of these little box stickers it has a little bit of washi there which I think is such a cute detail and then I also have um, my Hobonichi video went up this day so I am just going to mark that in with a little flag here. So I'm just gonna put that here on the side and then mark that down. So I'm gonna write all that down really quickly. So I am gonna grab my sticker books here. So once again, these are from Eribea Shop. I am gonna go into the stationery section, my Happy Mail or planning section and I am gonna grab one of these. So let's go with this one. This one is from Paper Echoes. And I am going to put that down right here just to mark the plan with me. Okay, so now let's move on to Tuesday. I did have one of my books came out, so I need to renew that. So that happened on the Tuesday. So I'm going to grab this little doily once again and put that down. I also drafted some of my blog posts this day. So I am going to use, let's see, let's use this quarter box here to mark that down. I also had another plan with me, a weekly plan with me go up this day. So let's use one of these little clips here. This little bow clip is super cute. I'm gonna put that at the very bottom here. I did also get some happy mail. So I am gonna grab this little quarter box from the Eribea sheet. And I am going to flip it this way so that I can mark down that I did get some. Happy Mail from Tool and Twine. I got some dashboards this day. So I wanna mark that down. I'm going to grab some of this washi strip here. And I am actually going to use it to divide this section a little bit more. And I'm gonna layer it with a sticker. So I did binge watch a TV show this day. So I am going to mark that down. And I also did a face mask this night. So I am gonna mark that down. 
So let's go into my self-care section here. I have a ton of face mask stickers, so I can definitely choose any one of these guys. And I think I'll go with this one. So this one is from Fox and Cactus. So I'm gonna put her there. And then let's go into my TV section here. And let's use one of these guys. This is from Paper Shire. And I'm gonna put that here. And I do want to put a sticker here, so let's go into my Happy Mail section, which is over here. And let's see, which one do I want to use? Let's go with this one. This one is from Paper Echoes again. So let's pop her down right there. Super cute. Okay, so now let's move on to Wednesday. I did do some filming in the morning. I actually filmed quite a lot of videos this day, so... So I did some filming. I filmed my Hobonichi cousin daily plan with me. I did that first thing in the morning, and then I also filmed a pen case, an updated pen case video, so I do have this sticker. This one is from Paper Shire again. And then this sticker up here is from 15 Prill. I also filmed a Delphonics pouch video. So I do have another sticker here and let's back that up with another one of these stickers. So I'm gonna grab this one from the sheet again from Aribea and let's put that down. And this is another sticker from Paper Shire. So I did a Delphonics kind of walk through this day was a really good day because I got my Moterm Cream Croc. So this is the planner that I've been kind of waiting on. So that finally came in the mail. So let's mark that down. I will use maybe this one from Lovely Mine to mark that down. So I will be doing a kind of setup video of this guy, so you guys can definitely look forward to that. I've been really enjoying my Moterms lately, so I do want to film that video very soon. And then I also filmed the unboxing of that one, so let's grab this little planner here. And that is from 15 Pril again, so I'm going to write that I filmed the unboxing of that also on that day. So I am going to bring a little bit of this washi tape. This is also from Pink Room Co. It's black with some red foiling. So I am going to bring some of that into the spread just there. I think that looks really cute. So that is what the first half of the week is looking like. Now let's move on to the second. So we do have another big day of editing. So I am gonna grab this little sticker that is from Paper Shire once again, and I did edit my pen case video this day. I am going to put down this half box. It's a little bit bigger than a quarter box, but not quite a half box. So I am going to write that I edited my cousin plan with me. So let's go back into my sticker book. And I do have these really cute Hobonichi guys. These are from Paper Echoes as well. So there's a Weeks and a Techo there. Super cute. So I love those. And then I also renewed my business license on this day. So I am going to mark that down with this half box here. So renewed business license. So that was important. And then I also made some tonkatsu. So that is like a Japanese dish. So I am gonna go into my cooking section here. And let's see, I guess we can go with this. This is another sticker from Paper Shire. I love having my little sticker book handy. I find it super helpful. So yeah, I'm going to mark that down and 
tonkatsu. I'm going to write that down there. I did have a video go up this day. So let's mark that down. Um, maybe with this guy. So I had my Kiki K haul go up. And I had some Kaveco pens in there. Which I think you guys really enjoy. You guys seem to like the... Um, the Kaveco pens quite a lot actually, so that's really really nice. Um, and then also I got my B6 Stalogy, my Tombow markers, so that is some nice happy mail because I have been waiting for those Tombow markers to come back in stock. So let's use this guy. So this is from a shop called Stationery Heaven. I don't know if she still has this character though because um, she has kind of rebranded, I guess, and her aesthetic looks different now. So I do want to mark that. On Friday, I did edit my Delphonics pouch video, so let's grab this guy. Oh, actually, I don't want the same color. Let's go with the black one instead, because I don't want to have the same tones of colors like right next to each other if you know what I mean. So edit Delphonics pouch. And then Rose Colored Days had a sale this day so I did want to order some new things from her. I wanted to get some A5 dividers so um, I am going to mark that down. So let's go with this pink. So, Rose Colored Days Sale, and I ordered A5 wide dividers, and the funny thing is, like, right before that sale, my Happy Mail came in from her shop, so that was really great timing. So I am going to mark that down, and I think I will use this one. These are from Paper Shire again. Really love her shop. So I'm just going to grab this, and I am going to mark that down here. And I did a haul video on this already, so... And I've been really enjoying her dividers, so I kind of want to get more. Like, I want to get one for maybe the Pocket Plus and also, like, an A6. I don't know if she's doing that, though. What else do I have? Okay, so let's grab these ones again. And I think I want to go with this color here. I did edit my Pocket Inserts this day to get ready for my release that is coming up. So like I mentioned, I've been revamping my pocket inserts. So I'm going to grab a work one from my work section. Let's use this girl here. She's super cute. Or actually, let's use this. That is from Paper Shire as well. I feel like this is going to be quite Paper Shire heavy. I'm using a lot of her stuff. Okay, at the bottom here, I do want to mark that I did upload my Moterm, my personal wide cream proc. And then on this day, I also binge watch the show. It's called What's Up Man X. So I am going to mark that down. So let's grab another TV sticker. Now it wasn't on Netflix, but I think you might have to use this one instead then. That's from Van Sticky. Okay, so let's move on to Saturday now. I did film again, another big filming day. So I filmed my memory spread. So the one that you just saw in my planner, I filmed that guy. I also filmed my rose colored days in a powder roll haul. So this is a haul that I've been kind of like holding on to. I should have like filmed it a long time ago, but I don't know. I just have so much to do that I didn't have enough time to do it all. So I finally did it and now it's all done. Now I think she has like a little flat lay because I want to do something for journaling. So she has a little flat lay here that's included in the kit. So I'm just going to pop that down to mark that I journaled again on that day. And then I did do laundry. So let's go into my cleaning section here. 
cleaning section. Where is the cleaning? So into my cleaning section, I do have this really cute laundry sticker. This is from, I think it's from Paper Crown Planner. So I am just going to mark that down here. How cute is that? It's so adorable. Okay, on this day, I did have payday. Payday, so where are her payday stickers? So I just grabbed a payday sticker that came with the kit, so from here, and I just wrote payday down. I do also want to write down that I did release my Hobonichi finance and bill trackers in my shop this day, and I also released some new pocket inserts. So I do want to mark that down here. And I just realized I forgot to add a sticker there. So let me go back into my sticker book and choose something to put there. Let's see, I do have quite a lot of different stickers. Let's go with this one from Paper Echoes again right there so I think that's super cute and then I also scheduled um, some teasers for an author that I work for so I am gonna grab this guy she has a release that is coming out in May so she asked me to put up these teasers so I that is what I spent my Sunday doing and then I also did do some reading on this day finally I feel like I have been kind of slacking on my reading this month, so I am going to pop that down here. And I am going to grab another reading sticker. I do have quite a lot of reading stickers because obviously I'm an author and then also I am a book reviewer. So I'm going to grab this girl. She's super cute with her little flower crown on and that is from The Whimsical Cat. So I am going to write that I read. And then also I do want to write down that I did paint my nails this day. So I'm just gonna put that at the very bottom here. Because I also um, uploaded a plan with me this day. So my memory spread went live. And then I do want a nail sticker so let's grab this guy and that is from paper crown planner and i'm actually just going to put that in the center or maybe here on the side let's actually back that up with some washing because i feel like it's a little bare there so i'm going to grab this guy And then put the sticker on top of that. That's a little bit better. So I think that is it. Let's see how it looks like in the planner. So that is what it looks like. The only other thing now is I want to add some of this deco because I think it's so gorgeous. So let me pull off some of the ones that I want to use in my spread and let's add them. So I do want to add this guy over here. like that. Let's put the flowers up here. So these guys are super super cute. I think they're adorable. Oh this would have been good on this day so maybe we'll just pop that there. There is something that I do want to mention to you guys and I should have said this in the beginning of the plan with me but I just wanted to say thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me. I noticed that a lot of you who have been watching this channel have been going on Amazon and purchasing my books. So I am an author by profession and so I guess because I talk about my books in my planners and obviously I'm planning my books in my planners, you guys have been really interested in them and so I noticed that a lot of you guys have been purchasing them in ebook and also paperback. So I just wanted to say a big thank you because I know that some of you guys may not be big readers, but you guys are 
obviously supporting me anyways because you enjoy my videos here on YouTube so I just want to say a big thank you to all of those people who have done that for me that really means a lot I do try to give back to the community as much as I can and I do have giveaways on my blog so feel free to enter those giveaways you may actually win an Amazon gift card. So I will link my website, which is AnnaJoline.com, where you guys can enter those giveaways. And that's just a way for me to thank you for all of your support. I just want to convey to everyone just how thankful I am. So that is just what I wanted to mention at the very end of this plan with me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. I think it came out really girly and cute and I love the pops of red and black. I think it's something different for me. But if you guys want to check out all my other plan with me's, you guys can do that. They are up on my channel. I do also have my March plan with me, which I just filmed. So you guys can check that out as well. This came out so beautifully. I love the colors with the light purples, the dark purples, and then also this kind of darker green is really nice too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you guys are interested in any of my printables from my shop, feel free to use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. That is it for me for today, guys. I hope you guys will have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.